Hey everyone, I am at the Hunt Lake Trailhead. Uh, I've been kind of avoiding it this summer because of the weight that I gained this, over the winter. But uh, here we are. This is probably the hardest day hike in Manitoba that I've found. Uh, I've attempted it like four or five times. I've only completed it the once. Uh, I'll put a link down below to my worst hike ever, which happened on this trail. So I'm a little nervous, but we'll uh, give it the old college try, I guess. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell so you get notifications whenever I upload new content. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Of the parking lot, you have this. This is pretty much what you can expect for most of the trail. Sharp rocks up and uphill, downhill all the time. And just like that, we're at the bottom. Let's go. Nope, Aaron, come. And as for the course with the Hunt Lake Trail, climb up to climb down. So this is the iconic spot. A little cave up there, big rock wall. So this is, when you look up on Lake, this is the pictures you get. This is this spot here. We're only like 30 minutes in. So yeah, it's absolutely cool. Hunt Lake Trail is probably the iconic trail for Manitoba. It is the, this and the Manterio are the two hardest. They're the two coolest, most interesting scenery. Um, right now the lake behind us is Hunt Lake itself. Eventually you break away from Hunt Lake and you follow West Hawk Lake for the rest of the hike. I think I'm gonna lose the hoodie, it's getting pretty warm. So I was gonna climb the cave, but I probably started getting really upset when I started to go up so we're not gonna do that because he didn't like that he couldn't follow me so now we're just going to uh continue down the trail like always back up we go appears we're not too late in the year gonna go up the side trail up there the arrow says turn you go straight and there's a little waterfall it's super beautiful i'm gonna go there So, 
there's water all very seasonal there's a, a lake up there it's filled just with snow melt and rain so usually in drier years by this time there's no water coming down it hey puppy but uh not a lot of water still flowing still nicer than a lot of the things they call waterfalls in manitoba uh it's a little bit difficult to find so if you're not confident with your ability to um, navigate off trail i definitely wouldn't recommend it because your boat 150 meters off the trail and if you follow the creek back you can get back to the trail but if you mess it up you could end up going up over this ridge into the wet areas and get yourself into some trouble. Uh, it's easiest to find this in spring before the foliage comes and it's absolutely raging at that point. See that? We're back at the trail. So in uh, springtime, you basically have to balance on the logs to get across here. Water, but turns out there's a bit more of a well-worn path that follows the creek itself right when you get to this point so that is the uh the path i would recommend one kind of cool things is a lot of the trail is uh, walking this ridge next to hunt lake which is over there puppy come here so uh yeah he's uh He's struggling a little bit more than I thought he was going to with some of the climbing. Mostly just because his size, he's having to kind of like jump up onto things a lot. Where I didn't think that was going to be such an issue. So we're going to get to the next kind of rock wall. Kind of see how he does. And that'll kind of determine whether or not we turn around and then I just come back and solo this. Maybe next weekend or the weekend after. You know? Large fall trail. All right, so he's uh he's not liking the the downhill that we just got to. So now we're heading back. He uh, you can see he's getting kind of scared and whining a little bit. And I don't want this to be a shitty experience for him. Just because I want to force myself to go through this doesn't mean I should force the dog. He's just happy to be out for the walk and the car rides. So. We're going to uh, hike back. I'll do a little bit more vlogging. Jeez, I uh, lost the uh, hoodie. Tied it to the top of my bag. There's also me like low key checking his shirt was still there because some of my stuff is still in the pockets and I like, shoved it like the pockets into the sleeve and I tied the sleeves together. So hopefully I don't lose my headphones or my selfie stick. Speaking of sticks, away he goes. Nice stick. See, I think we're gonna go back, uh, get up the one big air climb here at uh, West Hawk Lake, and then we will uh, take a little break. Don't worry about him just because he's he's only five months old. I don't like to take chances. I originally was gonna get a puppy sitter for him today um, because I wasn't sure if he's gonna be able to do this, but I figured, ah, oh, you know what? He loves hiking. He loves finding constant sticks. Hey, that's a good looking stick you got there. But at the end of the day, he's a puppy. He's still learning. The next summer, he will be a lot bigger, a lot more experienced with hiking. And will do a lot better. So at the point we're at right now, we're about 2.2, 2.3K out. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll put a little annotation um so we got about an hour to get back to the truck which is not bad a little two-hour hike i think we're gonna stop at reynolds and then do a little exploring through there because that's all flat land it's a lot easier for him and me um yeah i definitely got to stay on top of the weight loss uh this summer well this winter uh stay going to the gym eating healthy because i'm uh, noticing the difference this year to last year Last year I was doing a lot better, but I was also oh, 50 pounds lighter than I am now. I mean, I didn't gain it all back. I still am down like 70, 75 pounds from my start weight. So that's good, but I really gotta get back on it. So if you guys can uh, start 
Remember for me in the comments on that. Um, if you made it this far, uh, make sure you drop a comment to uh, stay strong. <laughs> because uh, I am many things, but uh, I tend to stress eat and eat when I'm upset or anything like that. So it definitely uh, encourages the bigness. And then uh, last winter I fell off the wagon with going to the gym and ate like garbage for like six months. So I gained back some, some weight. I lost it, some of it again. I would like to get under 300. Um, cliff, puppy, come here. Don't go near the cliff, please. You freak me out when you do that. Uh, definitely not feeling it today. He's, uh, seems to be taking a bit more breaks. Like he'll lay down and just kind of lays in the grass for a bit and uh, chills. And I try to encourage him to go when he lays there for a little bit. So I've been giving him a little five, ten minutes lay down breaks. I mean, he's a he's a puppy. Kind of treating hiking with him like I do hiking with kids. And that's when they want to take a break. You let them take a break. He doesn't want to keep going. You don't keep going. I know I could have. I could have got him to go down the hill, but I know that there's a couple more that are even worse than that one. And uh, with him starting to lay down and take breaks and stuff, I think I definitely made the right call, turning it around. So that way uh, he has plenty of energy and he doesn't grow to hate this. The last thing I want to do is have my dog never want to come do this. And be stubborn about it. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but he's important to me. He's still learning, so we will uh, keep on heading back to the truck. I did check my uh, all trails app. We were we turned around to the 2.5k mark. So come on, you don't need to chase a frog. Let's go. Let's go. Doctor Seuss tree goes up, it's over, down, and now it's going up, and there's actually some green foliage on there. What are you doing? Come on. Okay, I don't think, I don't think the trail needs to be deeper, come on. Come on. There you go. So I think one of the things of definitely learned hiking with a puppy is uh kind of let them play have their own little fun what are you what are you playing with there but hey moss he uh, he just discovered and it is the uh <laughs> best chew toy in the world apparently Thing. Moss only grows on the north side of the tree. Look at this. Three trees, moss all pointing at each other. We must be at the North Pole. Tree right here has legs. That one goes through roots. That one goes through roots. And well, I guess it's a male tree. Let's go.
Come on. Where's your friend Bogdan? Where's your friend Bogdan? So here we are, back at the truck. He's already laying down. We uh, didn't run into Bogdan. I figured he was gonna supposed to be here already but oh well uh if you like what i'm doing here make sure you hit the like drop a comment down below hit the subscribe button uh get the bell so you get notifications uh yeah it's a good hike we accomplished 3k with over 100 meters of elevation gains so it was a uh, it was a good day we're gonna go to reynolds we're gonna scope out a couple spots for me to do next weekend's video which is a surprise you'll have to just wait and wait for it and as always, thank you all so much for watching.